Hi everybody, don't you just love a summertime thunderstorm? Mm -hmm. Cools everything off and the rain comes. If you've stumbled onto this channel, my name's Ivan, I'm from West Virginia. I'm one of the Gen X population. <laughs> and hopefully I won't get on your nerves or yell at you today. But just, just want to show you some beauty. West Virginia what it's like to be here during a summer storm we're not getting much rain it's been really dry and I think this is the first storm we've had this month or well from August, from August to now so good to stand out here with the wind blowing and the sprinkles hit me. It's windy. Mother Nature's bowling up there. Had a few lightning strikes here earlier. It wasn't nothing major. Uh, it's a pretty quick storm coming through and we're in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. Uh, everything is so dry. If you want to get out and watch the leaves turn colors this year in the fall, uh, you're going to probably have to do it in early October because it's so dry. A lot of these leaves are already changing to yellow and brown as fast as they can from lack of water. This is a redbud tree I planted well, about four years ago now. And it's already changing. I got a little bit of fog on the camera. There you go. The lilac, it's still pretty green. Of course, pine trees always stay green. There's a little bit of brown on some of those. And, uh, one of the oak trees in the backyard. It's already turning colors, turning from green to brown. From lack of water. Too much sun. Very, very hot. Uh, that's an oak tree. And that's a cedar tree. And that's a lilac bush. I planted these when I moved in here about 14 years ago. This is another red bud and lilac and honeysuckle and some bamboo that we planted and a cedar tree now that is 15 years old. I started it from a little seedling and but this is my backyard and I'm waiting on it to rain we've been looking at these clouds coming through for the last hour and it really looks looks like a heck of a storm but it's not producing any rain uh, if you're bored and you're watching this channel I started this channel my name's Ivan started it and I called it living I actually thought I was gonna die and I thought, you know, all the things that I enjoy out of life, I want to start video and capture this and put it on YouTube. And if it brightens up somebody's day or gives them something to do or they enjoy it, I think, great. Hey, but someday maybe my grandkids will look at my videos and see what I saw in life and uh, try to remember all the good that's possible in the world and all the goodness that's in people. Even though we see a lot of bad things, hear a lot of bad things on the news every single day, there's still goodness here. There's still good in a lot of you people. In me too. So, you know, don't give up on this world. I know our president is having a hard time. I'm not going to get political, so I was always taught to pray for the president. Whatever religion, whatever that means to you. 
And uh, I, I sure know the United States could use a couple prayers and so could some other foreign countries. But today, I just want to pray for rain. We need rain. My grass is so dry. You know, the only place my yard is green is around the swimming pool. Usually September, we're we're dry in September anyway, but this is really starting to become like drought-like conditions here in West Virginia. That's my grandson's little truck. Boy, he had some fun with that. As soon as he could walk, he was riding it in and crashing into the fence. I hope I'm not boring you too much. My kids, they don't know how to pick up their toys, so their bicycles are laying right here. And the tricycles, at least the girls put them along the fence. There's a couple more cedar trees. Those aren't actually shumac trees, they look like a shumac or a heaven something or another. And uh, I'm not sure what this tree is. Puts off little tiny red berries, but I have no idea what this tree is. I've never really looked it up. If anybody knows what this tree is, it's pretty invasive, I can tell you that. But it has little red berries. And they're getting ready to fall off now. They're turning purple. But if you know what this tree is, hey, hit me up. Subscribe to my page. Tell me what it is. Let's have a conversation. See what what you like about the earth. Yeah, I love nature. It's beautiful. I love the spring more than anything, although it's it's pretty cruel to people with arthritis and ailments. But the spring is when everything comes alive again. Here in West Virginia, it's almost like everything dies in the fall. All the leaves come off the trees. That's why I planted some uh, cedar trees. Uh, you know, always have a little bit of greenery. Uh, I urge you, if you have a little yard big enough to plant a tree, I urge you to plant a tree because so many of them are gone without those trees that produce shade. The earth is going to heat up. We used to have trees that were 300 feet tall. None of us have seen a 300 foot tall tree around here because they cut them all down. One 300 foot tall tree produces a lot of shade. And just imagine if we were to produce trees that were 300 feet tall every 50, 60 yards, a small plot of them, how much shade that would give the earth. Well, hey guys, this is me in case you're wondering what I look like who I am just some crazy hillbilly that likes life um, just can't do much anymore got a real bad back bad knee getting older I guess uh, but you don't give up on life you don't give up on people if you liked my video and you like to see some more West Virginia uh, I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. I've been kind of ill, but I'm feeling better now. Um, we're going to do some more videos. And uh, probably do some more this weekend from a place called Trout Pond in West Virginia. So if you get a chance to tune in to me maybe Sunday afternoon, I'm going to put a few videos of some of the southern part of the state. Well, it would be the southeastern part of the state. But it, I'm going to get some really beautiful footage. So I urge you to like and subscribe to my page. Um, send me a message. I'll definitely return my messages. And just hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.